A school bus driver shortage is now gripping the nation. Massachusetts has even called out the National Guard to help pick up the children. The shortage is also affecting students in our area. CBS 2's Nick Calloway reports from Rockland County. Outside El Dorado Elementary School in Chestnut Ridge, there were more taxi cabs than school buses. No bus, no driving. Many parents who rely on bus transport for their kids told at the start of the school year they were out of luck. Sheena Green is one of them. On the first day of school, they called to let parents know that we have to be the buses. We have to pick up and drop off because they don't have the bus drivers for the children. East Ramapo Central School District is facing a severe bus driver shortage. Officials say the district is short about 27 drivers right now, leaving nearly 2,000 public and private school students here without a ride. Frustration boiled over at an East Ramapo Central School Board meeting Monday night. Parents critical of the district's handling of the mess. They need to be picked up and do your jobs, please. I'm ashamed for you all. East Ramapo School Superintendent Clarence Ellis is asking parents for patience. We heard them loud and clear last night. And, and we're working feverishly to, for, for, for this to, to be rectified. Experts say bus driver shortages are nothing new and were made worse by the pandemic. In New York, on average, districts report being short about 15 to 20 percent this school year. During the pandemic, many bus drivers lost their jobs, so they got into the package delivery business. Others got out for safety reasons. For many people who are in this industry are, are you know, older people, many retired people, and many of them decided that they didn't want to risk their health anymore for, for the job, and they moved on. School officials here are working with lawmakers in Albany to try and expedite certification and training for new bus drivers, a process that right now takes six to eight weeks. In Chestnut Ridge in Rockland County, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.